Hello, Tiger Nation, and happy spring. We're your hosts, Hope Lessa and Felicia Dyes. And as always, we are so ecstatic to give you another info-packed episode of Tiger TV. You know the drill, so let's get right into it. I don't know about you, but I thrive off of musical theater. So good thing the THS drama program is presenting Little Shop of Horrors, which premieres tonight, Friday, March 31st. Our very own Haley Nashry caught up with some of the cast and crew to see what's in store for the show. From singing and dancing to putting together sets, a lot of hard work goes into putting together a musical production. I was able to get a behind the scenes look at the upcoming THS drama production, Little Shop of Horrors. Let's go see what the hype is all about. Once the show is chosen, months of rehearsals begin to create the final show. Me and the production team sit down and we, we try to think about what we think the audience would want. Um, and I try to rotate between like a kid's show one year and then the next year it doesn't necessarily have to be a kid's show. Um, so this year we went with Little Shop um, just to have more of like a rock and roll um, cool vibe. The audience can expect a story about a sweet little guy named Seymour and he has a crush on this girl named Audrey. Um, and there's the store owner of the little shop he works at. And one day he finds this plant and hijinks it. And it's, it's a really fun romp. It's not scary at all, surprising. But um, it's really, really funny. It's really camp and it's just, it's a fun ride. While rehearsals for the actors and dancers may seem long, who's there even longer is the behind the scenes tech crew putting the entire show together. Usually I try to give us about three months to prepare for any musical, so it doesn't really matter which show. Um, so if we have a March show, we usually audition before uh, Christmas break, and then we really like kick off January 1. Um, the tech side is what I enjoy most. Um, I've always liked the lights and the sound and even construction of set. Um, and it's, if, it, if anyone's into um, set making, carpentry, we have electrical, we have which is lighting and we have sound um, and we just do a bunch of fun stuff in our tech meetings to make the show in the end become really good. The drama club is a great community and new members are always welcome to join. Um, I like wouldn't trade being the drama advisor for anything. <laughs> of community that's here you know we're all a family we all help each other out and I know that's so cliche to say but it really is true I've never been in a place quite like this drama club where everybody is there for each other everybody's always willing to help always willing to be there and we all feel connected in a really special way and I haven't found that anywhere else. The show premieres tonight at 7 p.m. in addition there are other shows on Saturday April 1st at 7 p.m. and Sunday April 2nd at 2 p.m. show out and support all your classmates and me. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing weekend, and I hope to see everyone there. For Tiger TV, I'm Haley Nastry. Back to you guys in the studio. I cannot wait to see what happens to Seymour and Audrey, and more importantly, how well the actors portray the story. The soundtrack is too good to miss. Again, tickets are 15 for general admission and 10 for students, and can be bought online at the link found in the description below, as well as at the door. Shows are scheduled for Friday, March 31st at 7 p.m. Saturday, April 1st at 7 p.m. and Sunday, April 2nd at 2 p.m. Come support the THS Drama Club. A few weeks ago, Taunton High's DECA chapter competed at the state competition amongst over 3,000 competitors. This competition determined the best DECA students in Massachusetts, and Taunton High had its fair share of winners. Of the 67 THS students that participated in the state competition, 16 students will be attending the International Career Development Conference in Orlando, Florida. These students are Joey Kozlowskis, Gabe Laskowski, Giovanna Guarino, Giovanna Lindolfi, Sophie Almeida, Daniel Levesque, Quincy Jones-Sylvia, Ray Rezar, Charlie Rabel, Shelby German, Julia Lurie de Rosa, Xavier Sandoval, Sophia Cabral, Moyen Odebumi, Mateus Noguera, and Tal Noguera. Also a big shout out to the chaperones, student resource officers, and the Taunton JROTC Honor Guard for attending the conference and supporting the competitors. Congratulations once again, and we look forward to hearing the results from ICDC. Everyone loves food, especially our exceptionally talented culinary students. On March 21st, students from our culinary department attended the Pro Start State Invitational at Gillette Stadium. The restaurant management team of Tatum Doman, Israel Cruz, Jonathan Henderson, and Kai Leonard took home second place for their coffee shop and cafe with Green Initiatives concepts. Also, the restaurant management team of Stephanie Brito, Samuel Cadet, 
Madison Coot, and Nick Woodward finished in third place with their airport Asian Mexican fusion restaurant concept. That sounds amazing. I know, right? And the most impressive part is that these teams had just one hour to make a three course meal. Congratulations to all those students who competed. Your success is recognized and appreciated throughout our entire school. Well done. Our school consists of many career technical educational programs that open opportunities for a wide range of students and encouraging them to succeed in a field they are passionate about. One of the most popular programs here at THS is our child care program. Lauren has more information on how someone like you can get involved. Lauren? Thanks Hope, I'm standing right in front of where all the fun and learning happens for Taunton High School's child care program, Tiger Tots. I was able to catch up with advisor Dolores Fortunato and a few of the student teachers to see what this program is all about. A typical day for the Tiger Tots starts at 7.45 a.m. and runs until 1.45 p.m. from Monday to Thursday. This program does offer additional options including half days. A typical day in the Tiger Tots is very busy. We do a lot of different activities with the kids. We do ELA activities, math activities, sensory, building blocks, lots of different things. So it's kind of crazy, but it's really entertaining and fun. Building bonds and relationships are not only important for the younger children, but also for THS child care students who are viewed as role models each and every day. I think that the relationships that the high school students form with the children is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. And I think as much as the high school students need the preschoolers, the preschool students also need um, the high school students. And it's just a really nice collaboration. I would say the hardest part is that there's so many of them. Being able to like keep an eye on all the kids at the same time and fulfilling everybody's needs and wants is a lot. But once you, the more you're in there, the more you get used to it and learn how to deal with it. I really see how much your small actions impact the kids. Because of how young they are, they're so easily influenced. So you really have to be careful of the actions that you're showing them. Working with the Tiger Tots gives the students a chance to work towards their future and experience educating and caring for the children firsthand. Um, I'm just so grateful for this program because I think it's a great way for us to establish um, students who want to move into teaching or I think it even surprises some students who didn't want to move into teaching or working with children. I plan to become an elementary school teacher so being able to work with the kids hands-on just makes me really excited and ready to get a job and get into the field. There are some pretty amazing clubs and programs here at THS. It's kind of crazy to see all the possibilities that this program offers for both students and the Young Tigers. Thank you, Mrs. Fortunato and the students for all of your hard work. I'm Lauren Tremblay for Tiger TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Lauren. My experience teaching the Tiger Tots last year has really opened my eyes to realize how underappreciated teachers really are. I 100% agree. I'm glad Mrs. Fortunato has opened the doors for student teaching and internship opportunities to heighten our high school experience. It can definitely be a struggle, but she truly shows love and admiration for each Tiger Tot and student teacher. We are endlessly grateful for teachers like her, honestly. Transitioning to everyone's new favorite, yet unpredictable segment, Luke is here with Nate Legier. Today's contestant is the newest Coastal Carolina commit who's all about gymnastics, being an iPad kid, and is the one and only Nate Legier's cousin. <laughs> Think you know who it is? Well, let's look and see who's here with Nate Legier. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Tiger TV's new favorite segment, Look Who's Here with Nate Legere. I'm Nate Legere. Let's look who's here. Hi, I'm Kylie. Just take, just take all day. We don't know. You. We don't need to know your last name. Furtado. <laughs> well, well, Kylie, you are here to answer a specific set of questions. Did you know that? I did, but I thought they were for gymnastics. We do a little tomfoolery around here. <laughs> now... Are you mentally prepared? Because you're only going to have 30 seconds to answer these questions. Probably not, but... You get to win an awesome prize if you get enough right. Did you know that? I didn't know that, no. You know what you get to win? What? A whole new identity. A brand new life just waiting for you. <laughs> and it is right at your fingertips. All right. Now that you know the prize, do you think you're... Okay. More prepared? Yeah, I'm ready. Because I've got my questions right here. What year was Taunton High founded? 1875. What is the national animal of Canada? A bear. What gets bigger but never smaller? Um, time. What bird flies backwards? A... 
A rooster. Who is older, Connor Martin or AJ Lewis? Uh, Connor. How many first aid kits are in room M333? Four. What year did the Titanic sink? 1815. <laughs> Who is the only president to have resigned from office? Um, Donald Trump. I don't know. What has a head and a tail, but no. You're done. You're done. You're bad. You're terrible. You are awful. And okay. you lose the identity. That's upsetting. You don't get a do over. That's upsetting. It is upsetting. <laughs> You're the worst contestant we've had that, thus far. Now you have friend. done so bad that I'm, I'm embarrassed to even be standing here. <laughs> but you're not going home empty-handed. Oh. Do you know what you get? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> A used wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's yours. Forever. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. How happy are you? I'm ecstatic. I'm very happy. I would hope that you are, because that's a pretty rare prize. <laughs> it's a rare finding. You don't just come across those every day. Thank you. Actually, can I have it back? Okay, well, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode of Look Who's Here with Nate Legere. I'm Nate Legere. Join me next time when we look who's here. Back to you guys in the studio. Kylie was struggling, huh? But to be honest, I can't blame her. I had no idea when Tonhai was founded. No, for real. I would have thought it was founded in like the 1920s. Literally. <laughs> but after that segment, I think we're due for a brain break. You got that right. We're gonna have a quick commercial, but stay tuned as our infamous rundown crew will give you all the latest spring sports deets. We'll also share some information about the All City Music Festival. And we've got some information about the senior prom and our classic Tiger Talk segment. We'll be right back. A community of culinary artists come together to present astounding student-made foods. These amazing meals, snacks, and even treats alike are available for pickup, delivery, or even eating. The hours of the Tiger Den are every Wednesday through Friday, are open for all teacher lunches, and they are open to the public from 10.30 to 12.15. So for all faculty and staff, or if you're just in the area and want some food, come and dine at the Tiger Den. Tiger Den is not available to any students who are currently enrolled at Ton High. Welcome back, Tigers. We still have a lot of information to share with you in today's episode. Now, I don't know about you, but this warmer weather has me hyped for spring. And with the new season comes spring sports. Let's check in with our rundown crew to hear the latest news from our athletic department. Take it away, ladies. Thanks guys! Welcome back to another edition of Tiger TV's The Rundown, where athletic stats are always a slam dunk. I'm Kayon O'Leary alongside Haley Crockta. Over the last couple of weeks, Taunton High School spring sports teams have been gearing up and getting ready for their upcoming seasons. That's right Kaylin. the spring sports are now in session and as the season kicks off we are bringing back our players to watch segment. There are some top notch athletes that will be showcasing their skills this spring season. These competitors will be looking to bring out the best in their teammates and also provide leadership to the underclassmen. They'll also be major contributors to each of their respective teams' success. To start things off, let's run over to the track where senior captain Sam Dennis is looking to improve from last year's outstanding campaign. Sam is the figurehead for the two-mile run for boys track, posting a time of 10 minutes and 23 seconds during last year's outdoor season, while also running under a 10 minute and 12 seconds in last year's indoor season. He placed first in every dual meet this past winter in the two-mile, while placing first overall in two of the five meets. Sam has experience in other events, posting a 216 in the 800 meters and running around the five minute mark in the one mile. Look for Sam to produce another solid spring season and to improve his times. On the girls' side, we have Kylie Quinlan. Kylie is excited to finish her running career after participating in cross country, winter, and spring track during her five years at Taunton High School. Kylie is one of the five stellar captains on the team who leads not only the distance athletes, but the overall girls track team. She trains year round, competing in a variety of distances, ranging from the two mile to the 300 meter dash. Over the past few years, she has been specializing in the 1,000 meter race, both indoor and outdoor, where she has a personal record of 3.30 at the Hockamock League Championship. She also competes in the relays such as the 4x4, 4x8, and distance medley relay, as they set the school record this winter season with a time of 13.55. Best of luck to Kylie in her last season on the track team. As we bounce on over to the tennis courts, we have senior captain Michael Kimmer. Michael has been a strong competitor for the Tigers as he has been Ton High School's number one singles player for the past three years. 
He will once again be co-captain with fellow senior Colin Lofgren. Michael finished with a 10-10 record as a junior and is looking to improve those numbers in 2023. We wish Michael the best on the court this year. On the girls lacrosse team, we have Raquel Azevedo, who is one of the few seniors on the team. Raquel joined the team her sophomore year, which was her first year playing lacrosse. She continues to look to improve on the dramatic progress she has already shown. She is now strictly an offensive player, as she previously played back, where she would help bring up the ball to score, but recover on defense when needed. Last year, she tallied 8 goals and 15 assists. We hope Raquel has a fantastic season. Heading into the gym, we have boys volleyball senior captain Matthew Freitas. Matthew played a big role last year for head coach Toby Chaperon, where he led the team in kills and aces. He was also a force on the front line with numerous blocks. For his efforts, he was awarded the Taunton Gazette Greater Taunton 2022 Volleyball Player of the Year. Look for Matthew to continue his success this season as he will be the driving force for a young Tigers team. Moving over to the Jack Tripp softball field, we have senior captain Casey Demora. Casey was one of the many juniors that contributed greatly to the back-to-back -back Division I state champion softball team last season. She posted a batting average of 544 with 45 hits, 35 RBIs, and 8 home runs while hitting in the three-hole. Casey is one of the five players who could capture their third championship ring this season if the Tigers were to win another state championship. Expectations are always high for Taunton softball, but this might be the highest they've been in 20 years. Best of luck to Casey and the entire softball team. Switching over to the other diamond, THS Baseball also won the Division I state championship last year with major contributions from current senior Sean Kelly. Sean was someone head coach Blair Bork could rely on day in and day out. Last year, Sean had a batting average of 333 with 23 hits and 13 RBIs. He also posted a 5-2 record on the hill with 32 strikeouts in 41 and 2 thirds innings. Look for Sean to have a strong senior campaign and be a leader on and off the field for the Tigers. Speaking of our defending state championship teams, the third member of our team, Peyton Weldon, will be spotlighting the baseball team during our next show, while you, Haley, will be showcasing the softball team. That's right, Kaylin. I'm super excited for both teams as we are trying to defend our state titles. Next show's rundown will be one you don't want to miss. Well, that's going to wrap things up here on The Rundown. Please check the athletic website for all the schedules as the teams are set to begin their regular seasons this week. Best of luck to you, Haley, and every PHS student athlete. No pressure, but you guys better three feet. <laughs> well, that's the goal. One game at a time. Good luck to you as well, Kaylin. For the third member of our team, Peyton Weldon, I'm Haley Crockta. And I'm Kaylin O'Leary. This has been The, the Rundown. Rundown. Back to you guys in the studio. Sounds like Ta and I, per usual, will be a top competitor in the Huckmuck League this spring. Oh yeah. I am so excited to see how our athletes do this season. A few weeks ago, the Taunton Public Schools Music Department performed in the Ruth Beloli All City Music Festival. The festival took place over two nights in the THS Fieldhouse. On the first night, core students from grades 4 through 12 sang a collection of songs, and on the second night, band students from grades 7 through 12 showed off their musical talents. Both nights concluded with a combined piece featuring all those students who were participating. Both performances can be viewed on the THS TV Studio YouTube channel. A shout out to Mr. Beltram, Mr. McKenzie, Mr. Legardo, and all the chorus and band teachers throughout the district in helping these students become such talented performers. To all our fellow seniors, listen up because prom is coming up soon. This year's theme is Masquerade, so get your mask glammed up for a night you won't forget at the Lakeview Pavilion on May 31st. You can find permission slips in any house office and they must be returned to room D311 or M153 no later than April 6th. Tickets will go on sale April 10th through the 13th, before school and also after school until 3 p.m. Tickets are $50 but are subject to change, so be sure to be prepared to get those permission slips signed. It's now time for our good old reliable segment, Tiger Talk, starring Christian and Kylie. In this edition, our crew is asking some would you rather questions, and trust me, these are some weird questions. <laughs> Take it away, guys. Hey, Tigers, I'm Kylie. And I'm Christian. And welcome back to another episode of Tiger Talk. Today's theme, infamous would you rathers. From the strange to the controversial, we've got you all covered. So let's dive right in. Would you rather live 500 years in the past or 500 years in the future? Definitely in the future. I'm not living in the 1500s. Yeah, pretty. No, it, it sucks. It, it really does. Think? Yeah. Future. I would want to see what my future looks like. Mm, I'd rather live 500 years in the past. I think it would be better to see what's in the past. The past, because I'd be too scared to see my future. Uh, the future. Definitely the future. Definitely, definitely the past. I feel it. It's a bold, bold prediction to assume we're going to be here in 500 years, so 
I would say five hundred years in the future because I want to see like what's gonna happen in the future. Would you rather have your search history leaked or the group chat between you and your best friends? Um, probably my search history leaked because if the boys' group chat gets gets leaked, we're probably all going to jail. Search history, it's very clean, very clean. Uh, my search history. Probably my search history. One, my best friend, uh, because we don't talk about anything serious. It's just funny things you know, all day. My search history leaked because I basically asked my friends things I wouldn't search up. Oh, <laughs> search history, a hundred p. Wait, are we filming uh, yet? Definitely gonna have to go with the search history. Group chat. Group chat. Search history. Would you rather fight a gorilla every week and be fine after, or every thought you have happen? I've got some pretty intrusive thoughts, so I'm gonna have to go the gorilla route. All right. Every thought I've had happen, probably. Fight a gorilla. It's raps. It's raps. <laughs> uh, probably have every thought that I've had happen. Just because I think some pretty crazy things. I think some pretty wild things, so I think if they happened, it would be cool. A gorilla. Definitely a gorilla. Oh, shoot. Fight a gorilla every week. <laughs> hey, Christian. I have a really serious question to ask you. And that is? Would you rather fight a gorilla every week and be fine afterwards, or have every thought you had happen? I'm going to have to go with the gorilla on that one, just because I think it's for the best. It's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. For Tiger TV, I'm Christian. And I'm Kylie. Back to you guys in the studio. Hope, would you rather live 500 years in the future or in the past? Because I know my answer is easily 500 years in the future for multiple reasons. No, yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Um, I would pick 500 years in the future, too. Yeah. Well, Tigers, it looks like that will wrap up today's show. As always, don't forget to follow our Instagram and Twitter for more behind-the-scenes content and notifications for when our crew roams the halls for Tiger Talk. For everyone here at Tiger TV, we hope the start of your spring is in full bloom and you spend some time outside enjoying the nice weather. I'm Felicia Dyes. And I'm Hope Lessa. See you all next time here on Tiger TV.